Hey guys, and welcome to this video on binary search trees or BST for short. So here we want to create a binary search tree or BST from the following array. And I have the array in red and it contains the integer values five, four, three, two, and one. And as you can tell, this is an array that is sorted uh, specifically in descending order from the greatest value to the least value. Now there's a few rules that we need to look at when creating a binary search tree. And the first rule is that a parent node has at most two child nodes. The second rule is that the left child node is always less than the parent node. And the third rule is that the right child node is always greater than or equal to the parent node. So let's go ahead and get started by first inserting five into our tree structure. It will be the root node. So I'm inserting five here. Next, we're gonna insert the value four into our tree. Now four is less than five. So four is gonna to go to the left of our tree. Next, we're going to input the value three into our tree. So we check to see if three is less than five and it is. So it goes to the left of five and then we check to see if three is less than four, and it is, so it goes to the left of four, and then we put our value three. Next, we're going to insert our value two into the tree. So we check to see if two is less than five, and it is, so we go to the left. Uh, we check to see if two is less than four, so it is, so we go to the left. And then we check to see if two is less than three, and it is, so we go to the left of three, and insert our value two. All right, and last but not least, uh, we see our value one, and we check to see if one is less than five, and it is, so we go to the left of five. Then we check to see if one is less than four, and it is, so we go to the left of four. Then we check to see if one is less than three, and it is, so we go to the left of three. And then we check to see if one is less than two, and it is, so we go to the left of two and put in our value one, or our note that contains the value one. And this is a valid binary search tree. So another thing to note is that when searching, having this tree structure is no more efficient than having a linked list. So this is our answer. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section below. Uh, please hit that like button and click on that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. I'll also put links to similar videos on binary search trees, on computer science, discrete math, algorithm analysis topics, all things like that will be in the description. And as always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.